We thank God for another day. I bring you heavenly greetings in Jesus' name. I am still talking about the ability to see. Yedanyamiasi, a war dafu for you so. May the heaven in Chiabra, a war yesudimo. May Gusua e Casafa, the bed to me, a more huna de ye a Let's hear the heavens report for today. I am the Lord of perfection. That is why every perfect gift comes from me. Therefore, if you want to be perfect, you have to have me in your life. Without me, everything you do cannot be perfect. It will be a human effort that will amount to nothing. So be with me and you will be perfect in everything that you do. Thus says the Lord. This is Pastor Dr. Kukudazi reporting live from heaven. Yentie ene heaven amane bono. Miye pepepe ye eradi. Enunti na achedi e pa nina efri mimono. Enunti sa upese uye pepepe a jise Winyame ewo wabrabom. Se benka huwa. Adie biara uye no. Entume nye pepepe. Ebeye nipa daseni modi mboa. Enko sifei. Enunti beme. Ne kame hon. Na ubeye pepepe. Ewo adie biara ubeye mu. Sedye erade sieni. We your suffer, Dr. Kukudazi, Mama Neba, Medi Free Heaven. Last week, I told you that not every death is from God. So it is wrong to attribute every death to Him and blame Him and say that it is God who gives and it is God who takes. Na uchu e chua mwono, me kachira wuse, e nyo uwo biara ene fri nyame. E nunte ye mfumso se, e be ye wajwin se uwo biara fri no. Na wabono subuo akase, e ye nyame ne dima, na onuanzo ene saji. I said, even pastors judge wrongly and use such words, when someone dies, it denotes that they don't have the Holy Spirit in them. That is why they can't receive answers from him about why someone loses his life. Me can say, a soft one po ebu atentia na omosu su kansa ansemno abi se obi uwa. A sitre ni se, omu ni hum kum kum e omu mu. Anunti omu tu me nya e muaye biara e mfrin ho. A e bechre a de kruntia o bihre nimkwa. Because they can't know the cause of someone's demise, that is why they judge wrongly and blame God for every death. A son se, Womun to me hunu sentia obishre nem kwantinu. Enunti na ubu atentia na obonya mesobuo efa ubiya ehunu. If someone dies and you don't know the cause, don't blame God and say that it is God who gives and it is God who takes. Se obiu nese u nim. Diye ye ya u ya. Mem bo nyame so bo nkase. E ye nyame ne di ma. No no anso so e ne sa jye. As a church member, if you want to be perfectly informed about spiritual things, 
be in the church where the pastor is closer to God and hears from him and can explain spiritual things to you properly. Say we are as a fubano. So person who teach soon 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 say masipa ya. Any doma sorry ya. Or so for no bang ya me pa. Na o tini ne. Na o to me a church soon 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 say mu ye. E di a chero. If you don't do that. But you just join any church. Where the pastor knows nothing. About spiritual issues. You have thrown yourself away. When demons strike on you, the pastor can't deliver you. Yeah. You will suffer and die. So why yes, sir? Nessa uko doma sorry be a keke. I suffer no only she for soon soon moon some one. What to whom go? Say a dam on it to shall so or suffer no to me. Ube huna money. As I continue today, another thing that the people of the world do is that when someone dies, they judge wrongly and say that we know that you are in heaven and are resting in the bosom of the Father. Their judgment is that every dead person went to heaven. Mm -hmm. That is very funny. Very, very funny. Me to a sunday. A dear be wa. E nipa wo vi a seno ye ni se. Se o bi wa. O mu bu a ten chi a kan se. Ye ni mi se. O heaven. Na o ji wa home. E wo e jane kokum. Ne che se o ma te mu o ni se. Ni pe bi a o be wo bi a anu. O ko heaven. E se ni pa 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 pa. That is also a wrong judgment. It is a wrong judgment because you are only human and you can't know whether the person went to heaven or not. You can't also know everything about the dead person. Now to me, Hun, say Nipano or co heaven, so Uncle Ho. And I want to me so soon, Hun be Biara, a fan Nipa will no It is only God who can know. A Yamin Qua and a bit to me, a Hun. And if it's only God who can know, then you are wrong to judge. From your human point of view, Nese inyamen kwa ene betu mi e hunu dia ene na udifo se udi uni pesuno ebu sa sebuno hun aten. You can't judge about what you have no knowledge about. Untu mi muaten wo adi e biara uni hun nem di e biya e hun. If you don't know why something happened, you can't determine the cause. So, who nim centra at the ABC ya? Who timen chre the kofa baye? If you try to make a judgment about it, it will only be a guess. And the guess is what will make you wrong in your judgment. Se upe se ubu a ten fa a de kure ti sa huwa. E be e wajen e na odibe susu. Na wajen wa odibe susu a na odibe bubu no. E no. E na di a ten chi a no beba no. Many people judge wrongly because their judgments stem from ignorance. And that is what I am admonishing you that you shouldn't do. E ni pepi ibu atenchia. E sanse o ma temu ono. E fri dia o mu nimeno emu. Ne nu na mi tu fu se. Men yes anu. If someone dies. You can't know the cause as a human being. 
se obi ewua untumi hun de ye ye owu ye se ni padaseni you can't know the spiritual cause because you are not even closer to god and you also can't tell the physical cause because you are not a pathologist if the person went to hell you can't know as well untumi hunu senti no ewo sunsun mu isanse ukra no o menyame ana untumi nsusu enka de ye ye ewo honam mu isanse unya dokutani a so bi wu a o papa de pedio no hwe de ye ya o wu ye ana se ni panu nsusu ko hell ana se janua enum danu munsu a enu nsusu untumi hunu because you can't know everything about the dead person isan say untumi hunu bibia emfa ni pawo wo no ehun whether the person had a secret lifestyle or was not truthful in business or lied to you and other people or used drugs secretly you can't know se ni pawo wo no no osuma abrabobia no osuma bo ana se na oni no kware e woni dwadi a odi mu ana se no odi a trochre o eni nipa aka ana se na osuma se no na ofa no boni so kura so a untumi hunu your judgment will be based on assumption because of emotion it will not be on the truth that you didn't know watemwo no ebejina wadwene a odi susu niema eso esa atenkanti nemom enjina no korea na unnim no eso that is why it is wrong to assume that a dead person went to heaven and is resting in the bosom of the father Anunti na yem from so se obedwen se ni pawo wuo no ko heaven na oji na home e wo agya no kokomo no A very famous tele evangelist who performed miracles died and at his funeral all the people were happy that he went to heaven but in the coroner's report The coroner stated that he found traces of alcohol in his blood. Oh. That was very unfortunate. On sempa kanibia na ota kan sempa e o TV so. I know I ain't sent any PV. Na na yase no. Ni pani na ni je kan se o wo ko heaven. Na nso so doctor ni no o pipe e mumu e she senti ani pedu ani wuya ni chro se won hu nsaden nsunsu aso e woni mojem hey you see what i'm talking about his followers judged wrongly and thought that the preacher went to heaven but the coroner found out his secret deeds in his body that is what i'm talking about won dey make an o won say na chidi fo bu atenchia na ye o ma dwen say nsempakani ni o ko heaven na so so dokuta ni o papa e mumu hwe sentia ni padua ni wuye no ehu ni suma se ni ya o ye ye i don't want sam and i'm making that because of emotion many people judge wrongly when someone dies but the truthful judgment can only come from the one who can see the in-depth deeds of the dead person like the corona say is a tinkanti ni papi betu me bu atenchia so obi wu na so so no kwari atem o pa no e betu me afri ni pa on the obetu me ahunu ni pa no awu wu no ni ya oye ye nyina isi asie pa at the say doctor tendino obiwa o papa ni di pedu emo no 
and regarding someone's spiritual journey, it can only be known spiritually by God and demons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. God and demons are the ones who know where a dead person went. Whether the person went to God in heaven or went to demons in hell. Nyame, any adamone, any betumi a hunu bebia, nipa wa wu no koe. Se oko nyamin chain, ewa heaven, anase oko adamone in chain, ewa janua enum da na hell. Even a coroner can laugh in his head at a funeral of a dead person when he hears the tributes of the family and his loved ones that he went to heaven and is resting in the bosom of the father that their judgment is wrong. Mm-hmm. Nipa wo wo na yiase se o ti se na busuafo ana na dofo e kan sem pa fa de ho se oko heaven na oji na home e wo eja no koko mu a o be kan se wo mo temu no enye he knows that the judgment is wrong because he found out the secret deeds of the dead person that the family members and the loved ones don't know. Like the funeral of the tele evangelist. Onimse o matemu no enye papa echrese. Wonu wa hunu e suma se ne yebia ni pa wa wonu ye. A ne busu afo ene na dofu ono omunim. Eti se in sempa keni anu o kan sempa o tv so no enye na se no. The coroner is the one who found out the truth about his secret deeds when he was alive. He knew that the tele-evangelist was a hypocrite and was not a servant of God. Oyeye, wabra na oti asye. Se, na oye nyachum. Na 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 oye nyankupankwa. That is what I want you to see. Enu na me pese uhunun. That, as a human being, you can't know the secret life of someone. So you can't tell whether the person went to heaven or not. When he dies. You can be wrong in your judgment about someone's death and where he went. And when this is how you are in the past, you will not be able to 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 be able even the pathologist states in his report that the cause of the person's demise is unknown. So he will write these words. He died of a natural cause. I told the bimpa, Dokute ninoa, opaipa ni pedu yamu he sentra, ni panu wu yano etrose, e kwanye afaswa, ni panu wu yedye, yentumi hunu. Nunti eya no ma trust answer me. Say, she say, "Ewu an ewu." If you feel more, I'll bless someone who ain't too many tears here. Say the eni pa be ewu an ewu. That should tell you that human knowledge is limited. You can't know everything. As I say, no catch that we say, "Ni pa nim di ano, I will be happy." How can someone 
who was healthy a day before without any visible sign of any ailment die suddenly. Eh? How? It denotes that spiritual mysteries are hidden to human beings. It is only God who is omniscient. A bad day, the nipa and the whole ding ding ding. Oh, a debbie mono. Ah, she said, be bia interesse. Oh, yari bia what the whole. Nam pofimwa no war. I said, she said, nipa does send in to me, who no. Soon, soon, my hint as him. A yin yamen quan. Any who are dear. That is why it is better to reserve your comments. When someone dies, and don't judge wrongly by blaming God for the death, or say that you know that the person went to heaven. You add sin to your sins. It is better to think about yourself and where you will go after your death. True. Na unko bo nyame subo se e yonu na afe ni panu ko. Na wan sansu anka se u nimse ni panu oko heaven. U di boni beko ako kan u boni nwa u ye da da de kura hon. E ye se u begini u anka sa u hon. E ni bebi ya u wa u beko e hon. What is funny at times is that when someone dies I hear the family members Friends and colleagues saying, Oh God, why? Oh God, why? Why did you take him away from us? He was such a good person. You see what I'm talking about? Their judgment is that when someone dies, it is always God who took the person away. They told the a hey, and can say, So be what? Nebusia for. Na young kufo adan ne juma e fo kase. Oh! E radi a day. E radi a day. A day no wa fan wa free en chen. No e ni papa pa. No e ni papa pa pa. On de mekano. So bi wu pe. A te mwa de biya ni pe buo ni se. E nyame e na fe ni pa kronko. They don't know that people can die. From the three ways that I talked about last week. Womu nim se. E ni pa be tu mi e wu. E wo kwa e mi e sanwa. Na o chwe chwe e mono. Me kan wwa sa mno. Eso. They also don't know that. If someone is good to them. It doesn't mean that the person is good to God. The omu nsa nim ni se. Se ni pa no o ye ma omu ha. And just say, oh, yeah, my yummy. Listen to me. You can be good, but not godly. Dr. Kukudazi said that. Yeah. I repeat, I say you can be good, but not godly. Tell me, Ube to me, I ni pa 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 pa. And so now, in yet, yam so many. Mr. Subio, me say. Ube to me I ni papa papa. And so now we nye nyami so many. Dr. Kuku does in a kai. So if someone is good, it doesn't mean that the person is godly. And unti se ubi ye ni papa pa. And chese ni pakrono o ye nyam so many. Someone can be a very good person. But what you can't see is that he can worship demons in his bedroom. Ni pebi be tumi ya ni papa papa. Nansu su diye un tumi hunu ni se. E bi ya no osuma da moni. E wane dem. What will you say? When you hear that a dead person. Whom you took to be a very good Christian. Consulted a fetish priest for spiritual help. Eh? What will you say? Se o ti se. Ni pebi ya wo uwa. Wo fa ni se. Na. Oye Christo ni pan. Se na oko konfo bi okra eko pesun su mumwa. Obeka se. Eh? 
It is better for you not to make wrong judgments about spiritual things you have no knowledge about. But what is unfortunate is that even in the house of God, church people judge wrongly about spiritual issues. Now the air sorry for It's because they don't understand spiritual things at all. And I always blame their pastors. Woman tissu summon sem as a cra na de be a woman sofono and I'm a bo mo subo. Today's church people and their prophets don't understand spiritual things. They think that demons are afraid of some physical articles they call direction. That is why such prophets sell some articles to their church members. And the members also buy them with confidence oh, mm -hmm. as if demons fear such things. That is wrong judgment. And nay, I sorry for anyone, a deep one on Tissun Summa Semase. A yo, my dream say, A damn is slow, Hunemu near me be a homo friend a quantum. And untina sa, a deep one of Tuntons, Hanny Manoma, Woma Safuma. Na Safuman so so dear, what Dini Hoki Catutos Hanny Mano. Now, Mudu Omurishem. Na a Kamiet is a dear, a damn one is so sad, man. It is very funny, eh? Very, very eh, papa, 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 papa. It is a wrong judgment. A ya temwa achia. I am informing you that demons don't fear any physical thing. Mm -hmm. They fear only two people. The Lord Jesus Christ and his holy and anointed servant, period. Make a mawati as yes, a damoni omun slow onam adibia omun slow nipa mi enu pe e ye radi yesu christo eni na kwa wasra na mo kanya oye krum krum asa. So if your judgment is that demons fear those things you call direction, you don't know anything about demons. You don't have spiritual knowledge. And unti say what a mo and he say a damn is throw sandy manua who friend a country noa who nim she a far damn him who ni soon soon mo nim debia. I want today's church people and your prophets to understand that if you have spiritual knowledge. You can understand everything that stems from the spirit. Be person nay, I'm sorry for anyone. D for no tears, yes, eh? So, who soon soon moon him, dear? Who bet you might a dear beer a fast soon soon mono, I say. When a church member suffers physically, you can know the cause spiritually. Se asafu babi e huna mani hune mwa. Ube tumye hunu se inti no. E frisun sumu. And when demons kill someone, you will not blame God for that if you don't know the cause. Ena se, adamo ni nsusu kum obia. Unko bo nyame sobo e wo wode hun. You will also not exalt medical doctors as if physical knowledge is better than spiritual knowledge. Un sanso so emma adoku tafosu emma nin kamen yeti se die. Hunam mu nim die no. E ye chen susu mu nim die. That was Luke's understanding. Luke understood that spiritual knowledge is better than physical knowledge. His judgment was better 
than most of today's preachers. Sir, and I know you look in Tiasia. Look, Tiasia say, Soon, soon, moon, name, dear no, a year chair, who name, moon, name, dear. Now, now, tell me, no, na year chair, a ne in some pack of one pee. That was why, even though Luke was a physician, he sought spiritual knowledge from the apostles. That was why he worked with them. He wanted spiritual knowledge. And untina, na wamu se na look, na oye oye reseni, anase dokuteni, na ususu ofishe sunsumu nimdi e ifri esiyan phone o. And unti eno ni wamu nanti yano, na ofishe sunsumu nimdi e. Luke exalted God and didn't rely on his knowledge of medicine like today's preachers who exalt doctors and belittle God. Look a man ya meso. Na wanfani wantuni ni mdia na wafa e dro e hon. E ti se ne in se mpakan fwa wamama doku ta fwosu na wamama nyame aye kete kete no. That was why Luke recorded the miraculous events that occurred during the ministry of the apostles. And untina look a tro tro and semwa na ye mwangwa e si 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 ye wabra na asma fuonu e di omujumanu. The apostles didn't rely on Luke as the physician who cured the people he preached to. As today's preachers are relying on doctors to cure the people that they preached to. The apostles didn't do that. A small phone and for one to look to say, or no, 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 yeah, or you're a suffer until no, 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 say, or sa, and nipa no, 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 when sick people were brought to the apostles, they didn't say, Hey, look, you are the physician. Heal them. <laughs> the apostles didn't say that. Say, Na ye di ayari fo ebre asma fo noa. Woma anka say, Hey, look, Wuna oye oyari sa fo. Enye, Wa bra de besa ayari fo no yari. Asma fo na anka sa. They themselves healed the sick. And Luke recorded the supernatural manifestations of God's power for posterity's sake. Womu ankasa. Ene sa ayari fo yariye. Ene luku chro chro sa nyami to mi nwa nwa suwa nwa. E si 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 ye ni yina. Se di ebe ya in chirima. En su si be hunu di eko suwa nwa. That is what the book of the Acts of the Apostles is about. Sa, ena ngumanoa, efa asuma foru nyumano hono, etie. Luke was amazed by the demonstration of God's power by the Apostles. Nyami tu minua, asuma foru dane dino, a year look pa. He realized that his knowledge about medicine was only physical and not applicable to spiritual things. Oh, who said, Ninim dia na wofa a drohono, na a yahonam mukeke, Nemum se a basu sumwa, Sadim dienu, nan yajuma. Luke saw that the apostles didn't rely on his knowledge about medicine when sick people were brought to them. Luke who said, A small phone and found one to or no name there. No, what fight drew so 
wa bra e dia yare for ebre wo look so that the apostles relied solely on the power of god look who say a smart one with your motto, young coupon to me so and go on. Therefore, if you claim to be an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, but you rely on doctors to cure your church members, you are very funny. You don't know God, you don't trust in God, you have lifted up medicine more than God. You don't know what God can do. I know he said, "Oh, now see, I say we are a ready Jesus Christ to summa for." Now say, "Oh, do you want to adopt that force?" Say, "We are not in sa wa sa for mano yari ya." We need my coupon, baby. Ya, we are sorry, papa, papa, papa. We need my coupon. We are my drosso. I change my name. Now we need the name. I bet you me aye. You don't know that spiritual knowledge and power are the most important things to God's servants. Unim say, soon soon unim die any to me any ya die here pa a man yanko pon enkwa. These two things don't let us rely on any human being. Sa ni ma imiru. And my young fire home to Nipadas and Biaraso. Luke wants me to tell today's preachers who rely on medical doctors that you don't know what is important. You don't know that spiritual knowledge and power are the most important things in the lives of God's servants. Look who see me in country and name some back and forth say, Moon nim dear who here. Say, Soon soon moon nim dear any two men. A name who here pa, a man yan coupon qua, a war, yabrabum. That is what every servant of God should look for. A noon I say, say, Yamia qua bea, oh, she. When you have spiritual knowledge and God's power in your life, you can cast out every demon that will disturb your church members for their freedom. So, who was soon so many in the end? You can to me, I will nip it. You will be to me to two Adam on the beer. I will be a half of man again. I will be a half of man again. God's power. Will let medical doctors respect God and know what is important. Nyami to me, ebema dokuta fo ebu nyami pa na oma hunu di ahuhi anso pa. That will let them seek spiritual knowledge and God's power and depend solely on God for their practice. And when I be more as you share, soon soon when him the any young coupon to me, now more do I want to your main quasso. A woman, you may dear woman, dear no emo. That was what moved Luke to walk with the apostles. And when a Kenya look, never one a smartphone or an auntie. He wanted to learn and record. How the apostles just used the word of their mouths to cast out demons from the bodies of people and healed their diseases. No person sien, no chro e kwan e faswa. A small for no dey in some free woman num keke. E di tutu a won money free ni pada se ni pedue mu. Na o san so so e sa won yare wa nyina anu. Spiritual knowledge and power are what preachers and medical doctors should seek. Because these two groups of people deal with human beings who are seeking solutions. Soon, soon, when you're in the end, 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 you're in the
nsempakafo eni dokutafo nyina ahwehwe esanse ni pakuo mienu nyina no omu ni nipa ahwehwe nsa no ena esan if you are a pastor and you have spiritual knowledge you will not judge wrongly about the spiritual issues of your church members so we are suffer na say we sun sun mu nim dia o mu atenche o emfa sun sun mu nema e fa wasafo ma no e ho and if your church members also have spiritual knowledge as you the pastor will teach them they will not judge wrongly about spiritual issues and i say wasafo ma so so o sun sun mu nim dia say dey wo suffer no be tre tre wo mu o mu so so e mu atenche a emfa sun sun mu nsem e ho and if you are a doctor and you have spiritual knowledge you will also understand the causes of the diseases of your patients and recommend god to them for their healing and as we are doctor ni na so so we sun sun munim dia won so so beti yare bi afare ban ene de ko fa ba ya se na o be kan fu nyame ama wa yare fo no ama won ayare sa Hallelujah. Amen. You will give God the glory and pray to God for his wisdom and guidance for your practice. Wudi enimonyam be manyame na obebompaye asre ni nyansa eni na kandie e wo dwumedi a wudi enu emu. You will let your patience understand that you only treat but it is god who heals Amen. hallelujah o be ma wa yare fo na ti ase se o de o bo ho modin se o be hwe wo mo nan so so e ye nyame e na osa yare this understanding will let pastors pray fervently for god's power to manifest in their lives to heal and deliver the church members from every demonic disease and oppression santias ye be man sofo bompaye e wani e de super se yakopon to me na di wo ma brabom ni wo mo nsori mo na wo ma to me e de asasa fo ma ne yare ye na wasan so so agi won fi adamo ne yare ye e ni won hye so biara e mo it will also let pastors and doctors give glory to the lord god almighty that he is the only one who has the power to heal every disease amen and so so be say ma so for any doctor for e di enimonyam ama urade nyame tum for say e yo no ko an e wo to me a obetumi dia sa yare e biara Church people will also understand that demons fear only Jesus and the holy person. So they will strive to live holy to please God and not depend on anything called direction and also not think that just going to church will make them children of God. A sorry for but yes yes Adam won is throw a ready Jesus Christ and in the power of your crown crown epe and unti ebe ma o ma prese o mba ya crown crown dia shenyame and monyam na o mo mfa o mo ntu nema bia o mo fre na kwankire eso na o mo nsan so zo ndwin se se wo kwa sori keke a eno no na ye o nyankopon ba this understanding will also let professionals seek the lord god for spiritual answers santias ye so and be man nipa wo mo ye ye wo mo anka sa nyuma na wo sua de e wo ade bi ho no wo mo atu anamon ahwehwe awrade nyankopon afa sunsun mo anoye e ho when that happens wrong judgments about spiritual issues or end. Sebasa 
atenchia obufa sunsun mu nema ho no eto betwa because the holy spirit will be in them to guide them so they will not judge wrongly about spiritual or physical issues isan say nyame hun kronkron betra wo mu na wodi won kan enu ndi wo mu mu atenchia emfa sunsun mu ene honam mu enema ehu and the people of the society will also understand that Christ is the answer to all the problems of humanity and seek him with all their hearts. Natimamu fosu beti asye se Christo ni nipada seni au emuwa ye nina na omu di omakuma nina ebe fifiyan. That was what the Roman soldier who came to the Lord Jesus Christ that I talked about last week did. Sana Roman Sra Ninwa Oba Eradi Yesu Christo in China Mekan Huansem na Uchi Mono Aye. He knew that the Lord Jesus was and still is the only one with the spiritual authority over demons and has answers to all human problems. That was why when demons were tormenting his servant spiritually, he sought the Lord. Na onim se, na eradi yesu kristo ye, na oguswa ye nipa, onon kwa ne wo, sunsun mutumi wo adamo niso. Na o sansusu wo sunsun mumbwa ye, ema nipa da se ni hao. E nunti na, wabra na adamo ni, e titi na kwa, na o hano sunsun mono. So if you don't want to judge wrongly about spiritual issues and you want to have spiritual answers for all your spiritual problems, seek my Lord Jesus Christ in Jesus' name. Amen. Anunti umpese ubebua tenchia afa sun sumun samu. Now, pese winya sun sumu mwaye, efa u sun sumu hao biara e huwa, e niya shushe miura Yesu Christo, e wo Yesu dinti. Amen. Amen. If you want my Lord Jesus to be your Lord, to take care of your life and deliver you from demons, give your life to him by praying this prayer with me. And after that, come to church and let me train you properly as to how to live holy to please him. So, pese u nyan sa anu, efa u sunsum hao biara anu. Na o pese, u jane adamo ni nshes wadi ya. En efa hon be she mira Yesu Christo asi. Wabra o ne mi bosa ampaye. Ne no e chino, bra sorry, ne ma mentiti o. E wo kwanya o be faswa. Obebo abrabo krun krun edi amano. Lord Jesus, I thank you for speaking to me today. I accept that I am a sinner. But from this day forward, I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that Jesus, you are the only Lord. Forgive me of all my sins. And write my name in the book of life. Let your Holy Spirit dwell in me. And I will live a holy life to please you. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, thank you for speaking to people of all walks of life for them to see what is important in their lives so that they will seek you with all their hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That and then so you have me share papa 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 papa. 
Odofu Auti Eye Eye AP Radio 105.7 And now Kwesi Adano Pei Ye Papa Dr. Kuku Dazi Efrim Eno De Nyami Asem Kreji Ebre Eye Na Uku Adani Efiada Enyumre No Son Asemi Eya Yebesen Repeati Wo AP Radio Heya Ebi Ana Opese Oni Ebesom Ya Wo Kase Kasi Main Road Ube hunu se, abatu anu wu msabe nkumusua. Ni fa sonu, filin station se tuwa tuwa sonu. Di ato su miye nunu, e kwa inda, isa filin station ni nche mu, di fa su sane kofom. Fa fom huwa ako si fom chaya, enko bebi ebi yu, ube hun holi la denu waho. Ene kwe si adano peyi, esu mi yeno nkunu. Ukuwa da, enyumri nunu ni fa, eye baibla disya. And a fiada and you mean no nominee fan so a year Bible. Now, and ever pass a man with your brain a fat. I tell you, Chia ah, nipper you boo a home. Especially a summer a cuffle woe one. A ya a dishing yammy. A ya some pa would be a near beside yammy say yammy that day. Now, same way, dear, and Tia say. A radi chere ya siye, a radi ya ba suye bebi sam. En se ma, ya ke kafa o wu o mwa, ya po nyame sobo no. Ni ina ya adi ya enye. Na, ya papa mi ya wun se. Se, obi wu, na wufu se wo ye ni papa pa. En chere se, wo ye ni papa pa, e me radi. E se, wo se wu nim ni ya wo ye nwo ni kuku wop. E ni bi ni, e, sa pa ke ni ya, o wu ya. Ni pa wo shè ni mwen jè mwen a yon shè de kwe wo e ma ni wuye e wun se. E nsa no mwen a yè ni ni mwen jè mwen ma. Na wubi ha wo re e nsa di e wo kopè di e wun yam in chè. E su ni pe yin a se wo kwen yam e ho. E nwen ti su wubi wwa yè nyè e se. Ye di kan yè wun yam e so wo anna a se yè kase. Wè di wè de ebra han kuku wo wun yam in chè. So bi wwa dye ya ya ma rè wun pa a me se ni pa yè ti a se no. Yè nyè ni se e yè. And to say na, Miss Sumacqua, na, na send you pay away with him and walk. I brought our boy ye into our corner, main chain, and also walk call. Bun some gem. Ye any panet, I said, one year in a woe. Near Mom walk can be a man in panna will wound. Or no so, oh, Miss Anna was said, one who are here for no walk. Anka, a woe nay empe to warn him profumer wound, and my man is soon what I say. If you never cry, you won't even tell me about any time. Into my soul, so I won't manage to make courage in a man's soul. And now, Nia, my papa can't chat to her. And ya one was seventy say, Nipper be a genie almost say, A home money slow a country. A more soft war, a more suffer ma. A radiant as crystal, neat as you have for no buy, and oh, ma, ma, a country be a ma, one more chidi for. And now, one more near Payer, sir. And now, one more home when they come home so. One more, 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 Wanka sa msu wujidi wa saadi ya mano huwa. Wajira eno mwote mwono so enye achia. Enu nti sa wachi. Nambe bwa abrapo krum krum na hama. Aho humoni ya su. Omwe nti mi antuwa nisa usu. Da nyami shira. Amen mama. Onu ya. Sa ube tumye ebu. Atentine ni ya fadi ebi huwa. Nise huwa adia ni huwa nimdiye. Na sa ube tumye nya nimdiye wa adia ebi huwa suwa. Nim dear pa fa dear be a hono, a radius of Christo Hodel. To what may radius of Christo Hodia obey him from so sa, now numb from so no more, a dear co. My dear, what I'm saying is that if you can judge righteously about something, you must have knowledge about that thing. And it is the Lord Jesus Christ 